Welcome back to Open. I'm your host, Marissa White. Bronx Works announced it is again on the search for 24 college-bound teens from South Bronx schools to participate in the History Makers Scholars Program this summer at Fordham University. The five-week summer program, which is held each year, will last from June 30th to July 31st. Here to tell us more about the program is the program coordinator for the Center for Achieving Future Education at Bronx Works, Mr. Jean-Pierre Lecour. Welcome, sir. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. We love a man with your name. <laughs> the heart, right? Yes, right. Correct. You had a big heart. So can you tell us uh, about the history of the History Makers program? Um, the program has been in existence for 10 years. We've been partnering with Fordham University for that amount of time. We've been working in partnership to create opportunities for young students in the Bronx to connect with higher education and institutions here in the city. Mm -hmm. Fordham definitely has been one of our great relationships and our partners. Um, and uh, 10 years ago, the faculty and Bronx Work staff decided that they wanted to create a program that will incorporate um, history um, to students um, outside the textbook um, through a different lens mm -hmm. and wanted to uh, primarily look at the focus of history makers as far as creating history through the African-American diaspora um, and wanted to discuss uh, history and the lens of communicating the issues of un, um, students who are basically are people in the communities that are marginalized. Mm -hmm. um, so working alongside of many of the professors on campus and the outreach community service program at the Dorothy Day Center for Service and Justice, we created this program 10 years ago mm -hmm. to educate, as you said, 24 students each year. Fantastic. So how does that fit with the overall college readiness and, and advisory activities of Bronx Works? Well, in the development of this program for five weeks, we realized that over the period of time that these students were engaging um, the experience of doing college level research. And we started to have dialogue on how we can continue to provide services to these students throughout the school year, which then kind of developed into doing workshops during the school year, then developed into campus days, and then developed into coming and doing shadow days at campus, which we just actually um, had a shadow day last week, a uh, student for the day at Fordham University, where we were able to bring 35 students on campus to experience classrooms at Fordham University. Um, so the college access and college development piece of the model was created because we realized that these students that we service during the summer mm -hmm. are starting to ask more dynamic questions about universities and college experience. Mm -hmm. So we will be able to kind of grow the program outside of the History Makers program. It's pretty amazing. I know I, I wasn't part of that program, but I had the experience of being able to be on a college campus mm -hmm. when I was in high school. And that really gives you a sense of the difference between the cultures of high school, mm -hmm. college, and gives you a perspective and makes you really think about what it is and where it is that you want to be. Well, it, here in the Bronx, it's really great that we have students that, for, for example, a lot of our students have never really uh, come to Bronx, Fordham University, have walked past the university, have been close to the school, and never realized what is offered on campus. Um, it's like that summer bridge experience. We want students to have that. And right here in our backyard, we want students to realize there's a great institution that is providing that opportunity. So in that, that relationship for 10 years, we've been able to expand that. Um, have, have, how have the prior graduates from the History Makers supported the work and continued maybe come back as mentors at all? Um, over the past few, couple of years, we've been trying to incorporate our alumni. A lot of our students are off at college coming back, and a lot of our students now are in the recruitment process. They actually sit and interview the students. We are now having alumni between 18 to 25 of our students come back each year, read the applications, review the applications like admission counselors, and then we'll meet these students um, in the prior week before being admitted to the program. Mm -hmm. So the alumni help make the selection of our students each year now. Mm -hmm. And, and what do they see that maybe the uh, staff hasn't seen before? What do they see out of these students? Well, I think they see themselves. I think a lot of the students come from their experiences when they first applied to the program when they were in high school. Mm -hmm. um, we even have alumni who are still in high school who do this program when they're in ninth or 10th grade that are still with us. Mm -hmm. um, and they're able to kind of like look at the student and look at what kind of caliber of student we want um, in the program. We used to have a drop-in program where mm -hmm. we just do an application and select the first 24. We no longer do that. We want our students to be involved and engaged in that. Because we want students to understand the whole aspect of being engaged with populations that are working in the community, we want the students to have that relationship. So our alumni 
help us in recruiting our kids. And that's a great experience for them. And it's also a leadership experience for a lot of our students. Indeed. I mean, what, what kind of candidate is perfect for this program? We don't have an uh, academic requirement. We don't, have, uh, we don't look for particular issues that students have. We want students to be engaged. We want students to want to aspire to higher education. We want students to be passionate about something uniquely about history specifically. Mm -hmm. And we want them to be able to come to this program and take as much from it as possible. So when we look for students in this process, we want students that can stand up and say, I want to be in college. I want to show my, my worth by going to college and expanding my knowledge. That's fantastic. And what's the deadline for this particular? May 30th is our application deadline. Mm -hmm. uh, we may kind of fudge that date, but we definitely want um, as many students to apply as possible. We usually over-enroll for, you know, for the students' population. Uh, we normally bring in about 60 applications a year. Mm -hmm. so we have to bring it down to about 24 students. And why, why, why 24 specifically? Well, when we first worked, well, first of all, we wanted to make sure that there was a population that the student mentors on campus and the professors could work with. Mm -hmm. we, uh, the, the program allows students to be grouped in, in four groups during the summer. So we have student college mentors who come in and educate and work with the students as well. We realized that that number is, is, is manageable. We realized we didn't want to kind of expand to too, too many students on campus, mm -hmm. where the program itself is working too hard to try to educate a large number of students. I see. So where can people go to find out the information about that? Well, they can actually go to bronxworks.org and go into Children and Youth and download the application. Um, the application is, is a linkable application. They can download the application and all the materials in the application is there. Mm -hmm. Were you, were you there for the 10 years when it started, or are you new to this program? I am not new to the program. For the past six years, I've been the coordinator and uh, the community liaison to Fordham. Um, I came in after the th for fourth year we've had the program. We mm -hmm. started in 2006, and now we're moving into our 10th anniversary of the program. And how, how is the... How's the program changed from when you first came in? And uh, we've incorporated new aspects of the program. Um, the students during the summer no longer just spend the five weeks on campus. Um, on some of their, their final days of the week, which is Fridays, usually or Saturdays, we uh, provide college trips. We actually will go outside of the community and take trips outside the, the city. Uh, we also incorporate um, uh, other academic enrichment pieces, such as college workshops. And then we also provide uh, enrichment as far as uh, the arts. So we take students to Broadway. We work with independently taking them to shows and connecting them to all different aspects of, of interconnected uh, measures of kind of bringing their the unity to the program. Do you have any really sh maybe short anecdote about a particular student that sticks out to you in your mind? Um, yeah, we have, well, it's hard to do that one student, um, but uh, most of our students aspire to great, great things. A lot of our students, uh, we have a student right now that's graduating this year who received a full scholarship to college. Um, most of our history maker students, um, having gone through this experience and having pushed themselves in this experience, push on to higher educations and, 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 and demand more of themselves and demand more of their ac academic opportunities. So we have a student graduated from DeWitt Clinton this year who received a full scholarship of about $50,000 a year to uh, his top school of choice. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the time.